Genesis 19-1-38. And the two angels came into Sodom at evening, and Lot was sitting in the gate of Sodom. And Lot saw them, and stood to meet them, and did reverence with his face to the ground, too and said here, Gentlemen, turn into your servant's house for the night, and wash your feet, and the first thing in the morning you shall go on your way. And they said no, we will spend the night in the square, three but he urged them hard, and they turned off to him and came into his house, and he set out drinks for them and baked matzah for them to eat. They had not yet gone to bed when the men of the city, the men of Sodom, surrounded the house, from boy to old man, all the people indiscriminately, five and called to Lot where are the men who went into your house tonight? Bring them out so we can know them. Six and Lot went out to them at the door, and shut the door behind him, seven and said do not do anything bad, brothers, eight here I have two daughters that have never known men, let me bring them out to you, and do with them as you think best, only do nothing to these men, seeing they have come under my roof. They said get out. And said the incomparable man came in for an immigrant and is setting up for a judge, now we will do worse to you than to them. And pressed the man, Lot, hard, and came up to break the door. Ten but the men put out their hands and drew Lot into the house where they were, and shut the door, eleven and the men at the door of the house they struck with an illusion, great and small, and they tried in vain to find the door. And the men said to Lot whom else have you here? Bring out of the place your sons and daughters and whomever you have in the city because we are going to make away with this place, 13 because its outcry is great in Jehovah's face and Jehovah has sent us to make away with it. 14 and Lot went out and spoke to his sons-in-law, those who were to marry his daughters, and said get right out of this place, because Jehovah is going to make away with the city, but his sons-in-law thought he was joking. And as the dawn came up the angels hurried Lot on, saying off with you, take your wife and your two daughters that you have here, for fear you should be swept away for the crime of the city. The first thing in the morning Abraham went to the place where he had stood face to face with Jehovah, 28 and looked off towards Sodom and Gomorrah and all over the country of the Pale, and saw that the smoke cloud of the country had gone up like that of a kiln. 29 But when God made away with the cities of the Pale, God remembered Abraham and let Lot out from the overthrow when he overthrew the cities Lot was living in. And Lot went up from Saghar and lived in the highland, his two daughters accompanying him, because he was afraid to live in Saghar and he lived in a cave, he and his two daughters. 31 And the elder daughter said to the younger father is old, and there is no man in the country to go into us in the way of all the earth. 32 Come, let us give father wine and lie with him, and preserve living issue from father. They gave their father wine that night, and the elder went in and lay with her father, who was not conscious of her lying down nor of her getting up. 34 And the next day the elder said to the younger here I lay with father yesterday, let us give him wine tonight too, and you go in and lie with him and let us preserve living issue from father. 35 And they gave their father wine that night too, and the younger stood up and lay with him, he not being conscious of her lying down nor of her getting up. 36 And Lot's two daughters became pregnant by their father. 37 And the elder had a son and named him Moab, he is the father of the Moabites to this day. 38 And the younger had a son and named him Ben-Ami, he is the father of the Beniamon to this day.